Hello, and welcome to the unboxing of the Witch's Moon box for March. This is my first ever Witch's Moon box. This is my fifth subscription box related to witchcraft, and my third of its kind. So I've had the House of Rituals, I had two House of Rituals, two Box of Shadows. This is my first Witch's Moon box, and I'm really excited because I've been trying to get a hold of this for a long time, and they always sell out before I can buy one. So, here we go. This is my first reaction. I have not opened this. So I don't know what's in here. Ooh, looks like an oracle card. I'm looking forward to reading the little note attached to that, but we'll get to that. Got some artwork. Not sure what this is. Could be some sort of spell. It's a soul moon would be at the bottom, so. Probably Magic of Merlin. Look how pretty this is. Looks like it's talking about specific runes. I like that the first one is Abundance. Well, I know it's like we can use some of that. Amen. All right. See my familiar. Straight on my side, of course. She's also probably hungry. So. <laughs> All right. Maybe I should have opened this first because I can. I need two hands. We've got some um, incense. Mm, okay, so that's what it is. It's smelling of the box. It smells really good. I'm not sure what kind of incense it is, but I'm sure that the little thing tells me. Well, I'm gonna go to the. First, I want to go to the big one first when I go to the little ones. Tell you what, let me just put this on pause. Okay, so this is what was inside. Do you see this gorgeous candle here? It is gorgeous. I'm assuming, yeah, so there's two of them. Guys, I love this box already. I just love everything about it already. Let's see. Dominana. Dominiana leaf. Probably for use in some sort of ritual later. Paw paw herb. Cool. I don't have many herbs, so I'm happy. That I'm getting some more, so I don't have many. I don't do herbs. Guided Vision Crimson Tea. Oh my gosh. That sounds like fun. Some Guided Visions. Another little. Hmm. It's probably going to be something we probably put the herbs in later. Again, as part of some sort of ritual or spell. Um. I will bet money this is a part of it. It looks like some sort of bark. I know you guys are probably saying this and like, pick that up, pick that up. Um, let's see. It looks like salt. Probably some bath salts. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is something else I'm going to have to pause the video for so I can see what it is. Okay, so this was, this is what, what was in it. It says, speak to me. And it's some kind of oil. Clearly a lot of different herbs on the inside of that. So, that's going to be fun.
Yeah, you can see what I'm getting at. Yeah, I am leaving this big thing for last because it's big. <laughs> kind of like at Christmas. So, this is going to be difficult. Let's see if I can do it. I mean, you know, I want you guys to have the experience of opening the box like I am. Okay. <laughs> okay. Pause. Okay, so this is what was inside of the satchel. It is a stone of some sort. It's a very deep red with some gold around the sides here. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but again, I'm sure that they have provided a subs uh, pres uh, description <laughs> of whatever that is. So, we have this cool velvet bag. I mean, can you just see the time and effort? put into these boxes and this box in particular this is why I was so excited about finally being able to get the witch's moon box specifically because everybody has nothing but awesome awesome things to say about it it's a room bag oh my gosh I can't wait to do these I think that you can do readings with room um rooms so that's gonna be cool can't wait all right now this big thing which had some um stains on it so it's probably maybe something leaking let's find out this beautiful candlestick holder is what was inside of there again you can see the awesome craftsmanship the care taken for it it just kind of gives you an idea how big it is so that's really cool and you probably can put one of those really cool spiral candles in it. Probably for a ritual or a spell. So that's everything. Just to kind of give you a once over. The salts. The herbs, tea, the satchel, the roan bag, the stone and the um, runes artwork in this spell this oracle card and now I'm gonna go take some time and go ahead and read over all of this and um, if you guys want to know more about it then I guess you'll have to subscribe all right thanks for watching